Total Eclipse, the second 3DO game from Crystal Dynamics, is an on-rail shooter with a spaceship similar to Star Wing on Super Nintendo. The story takes place in the futuristic year of 2099 when an alien race is threatening to blow up the sun and apparently eat the human race. Why can't aliens and humans ever get along? Anyway, the CG cutscenes look really good for 1993, and the voice acting, while cheesy, has confident delivery. That is, Lieutenant. I'm not gonna blow propaganda smoke in your face. As I mentioned before, the gameplay is an on-rail shooter. There's a total of five planets, each with four levels, and no surprise, the fourth level contains a boss fight. The game automatically moves, but you can adjust the speed with the accelerator or brake. Similar to a 2D spaceship shooter or shmup, you can collect different weapons and power-ups. There's also a bomb that wipes out every enemy and causes the frame rate to implode. The frame rate is actually capped at 24 frames per second, making this game a real cinematic experience that would impress Ubisoft. To be fair, 24 frames was considered to be a high frame rate for 3D games in 1993. I'm not going to give you a science lesson about what will happen to Earth without a sun. You'll get a good idea for yourself on your missions. Initially, I was enjoying the game. Blowing up enemies and rocking it out to the guitar riffs is sensational. Seriously, the soundtrack is awesome. <sighs> but it doesn't take long until you encounter the game's biggest flaw, control. The 3 do stiff D-pad is not equipped for handling precise and rapid movement to dodge the various obstacles. To make matters worse, the draw distance is really short and the perspective is completely botched. The issue is you can hit mountains or other terrain behind you that appears off camera. Excellent job. You are hereby promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. I really wanted to enjoy Total Eclipse. You really can't be blowing up enemies in a rockin' soundtrack. But the controls and perspective issues hinder my enjoyment. I should mention the game was later re-released on the PS1 as Total Eclipse Turbo, with improved controls and four different schemes. I definitely hope to check out the PS1 version and see if the controls were fixed. Because the potential is here, just the execution isn't great on the 3DO.